Right, hello everybody and welcome to Matt Fryer Golf. So I'm down here at Stockport Golf Club today and I'm here to answer a question that was um, posed to me by one of my subscribers on Twitter, Paddy Golf. And that was, how important is a, a pre-shot routine and you know, how do I go about getting one? So he said that he could only see the negative side of it being that you would play a little bit slower. Now there are some extremes where you see someone like a Jason Day who can take a little bit too long but you know every every player you watch on tour now will have a pre-shot routine they're not you know dead easy to spot or anything like that but they will have like a, a checklist that they're going through on every shot to make sure that they're repeating the same things over again so that they're just comfortable but not feeling um, anxious or anything like that when they're over shots and they're just going back to that training that they've done on the practice ground to help them repeat it out when it means the most when you know when they're trying to get a score done with a card in the hand i know myself definitely it's something i need to work on 100 percent i've got one with my putting but with everything else i'm a little bit hit and miss and you know guys who are watching at home i can guarantee there'll be times when you're stood over certain shots that you don't quite like you find yourself you know we've all been there where you you've got that chip over the bunker and you don't quite fancy it and all of a sudden you're taking that extra bit of time over the golf ball you're thinking of all the negative thoughts that you don't want to think don't hit it in the bunker don't do this don't do that and that's what you know a pre-shot routine is going to help eradicate for us if we can get into a state of mind where you know what the shot is you know you're taking a practice swing with a question that you've already asked pre-taking that practice swing to give yourself a clear set of instructions of what it is you're actually trying to achieve when you're making these shots hopefully in situations like that we can eradicate it so i think you know to answer your question paddy i think yes definitely having a pre-shot routine is um, something that i would totally advocate but it's also understanding yourself as a person and as a player and what works for you some people are faster than others some people are slower than others some people are more analytical some aren't so You've got to find that happy medium balance and, and take it from there. And what I would then do is decide on how, you know, what you want your practice routine to be. And then let's implement it at the range. So one thing I want you all to do, um, if you are going to try and implement a, a practice routine or a, sorry, a pre-shot routine now is next time you're out playing, when, you, when you're comfortable and you've hit a shot that you were, you know, you got into it, you were happy, you went and hit that shot after you've hit it just have you know play the tape back in your mind of you hitting that how many looks did you have at the target number one did you think about the shot before you hit it had you given yourself a vision in your mind's eye before you hit that shot you know when you when you pulled that club out of your bag were you thinking well i've got 70 yards it's my 50 degree wedge and i see it as a, a high one stop in there one bounce and and that's what i want to play and then you get over it how many times were you looking at the target was it one look and then you take a practice swing have a look at it there we go then address it one quick look and hit the shot or was it two looks and once you are able to identify these things when you're comfortable hitting some good shots you're going to go and try and implement that into every shot that you hit now and you you know it is yes you can get a little bit slow sometimes if you're not quite sure of what your routine is and what you're trying to achieve you've got to have a set routine and one thing i'd also suggest is writing it down you know the key points is it one or two practice swings is it a couple of looks at the target do you have a couple of waggles and just find what your natural flow is so you know the the, the thing i'd say for this pre-shot routine is start it with a question what's your question and basically whenever you get your golf ball and you've got a target that that is your question what what shot is required here is a great question what is it i need to do with this golf ball to get it to the point where i want to put it to so you'll have factors like your distance how far is it to the the place to the flag or to a layup area the lie that the golf ball's on you know is it sat nicely is it sat down is it in some rough is it out of a bunker what club am I going to use? What club gets me that distance? What sort of club will get me my desired trajectory on the shot? 
these are all things that, you know, in your pre-shot routine, if you build a clear image in your head of what you're trying to do, we can hopefully eradicate that, that time spent over the ball thinking about these things and that's generally where more slow play will come from when you're picking a club and not sure and stood over it thinking oh um, what am I meant to be doing now uh, oh well it's that far how far is it again oh right okay well yeah um, right probably over there um, and all of a sudden you've, you've got no clear thought in your mind of what it is you're trying to do as opposed to asking the question right how far is it 70 yards what club's that? A 50 degree at a nine o'clock swing. Okay, where's the light? It's okay, middle of my stance. Right, okay, if I feel that, I have my practice swing, it's to there. I'll get in. Do I feel comfortable? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. One quick look. There we go. And you've, you're programming yourself to get into a mind frame where you've already answered the questions, you've already seen the shot being played before you've played it, you put that positive mental image in your mind and you're more likely to hit a better shot. It's the old case of the old um, the pink elephant scenario. Now, if I say to you guys now watching this, do not think of a pink elephant, how quickly did that pop into your head, that big pink elephant that you just saw? You can't avoid it. So if you're stood over it, well, oh, please don't duff it. You know, how many times have we all been there? I don't like that one. Oh, please don't thin it. Don't, but we get the thin. If we can get the question answered, before we've even got stood over that golf ball, you can build a routine and build some positive images in your mind that is gonna help you play much better golf. Like I said, guys, it's a, it's a trial and tested thing what your routine will be. Everyone's different, we're all built different, you know, we've all got different minds and think differently, but if you can start it with a question, answer those questions before you've even taken a practice swing, you know, how many times do you see that as well? People just, oh, I'll have a few swings. I don't know what I'm actually swinging for. I'm not trying to replicate any feeling that I'm going to hit in a second, but I'll just have a swing. It's pointless, pointless. So if you can do everything a little bit more with a point, you know, why are you doing it? Because you've asked, answered that question that you asked at the start, and then you build your routine up, you're going to find more success. So, you know, good thing, like I said, answering your question, you know, distance, lie, and things like that. Build that into your pre-shot routine. A couple of practice swings, trying to emulate what you're going to feel when you uh, actually take the shot from the questions that you've answered. Then get into it, and I try not to stand over it for too long because all of a sudden you're going to let those negative thoughts feel, feed back in. We're going to, you know, have a couple looks at the target, and while you're looking at your target, just have that mental image of the shot that you've answered the questions with playing in your head and that's hit it so you know for me like I said I've got I've got a target here now at 70 yards if uh, we're obviously off a nice lie on the mat 50 yards about nine o'clock so I'd come behind pick my spot have a practice swing so I'm trying to swing it to about here yeah right pick my target where I was lining up to have a look at it little waggle to get loose one look at the target not bad pretty decent shot so it's just repetition of building it find your routine and keep practicing it keep sticking with it and keep working at it I hope that helps guys I hope that's helped you Paddy I hope it's answered your question there and like I say if you can just get a little notebook and write it down as well it'll help you actually keep doing what you're doing and help you build it in a lot quicker guys I hope you've liked that video if you have give it a thumbs up comment down below do you have a do you have a pre-shot routine? What is yours? You could help someone else out on the channel just by commenting down below. Also guys, do give the subscribe button a click if you haven't already. It's totally free and there's loads more content coming. So hopefully you won't miss any of that and I'll see you soon with more videos.